Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about facilitated diffusion. So, the process of facilitated diffusion is a spontaneous passive transport. So, it transports molecules or ions across a biological membrane via specific transmembrane integral proteins. So, these facilitated diffusion help the transport of molecules as well as ions across a biological membrane with the help of transmembrane integral proteins. So this is called facilitated diffusion. So as the substances are moved across a membrane that is these substances are moved by a concentration gradient. That is, from a higher concentration, the substances move towards a lower concentration. So, since it moves from higher concentration to a lower concentration, that is, since it is based on the concentration gradient, there is no requirement of chemical energy or ATP. So, ATP is not required in the case of facilitated diffusion. So, the substances which are transported via facilitated diffusion cannot be transported by other means that is it cannot be transported across a membrane easily and quickly by other methods so that's why facilitated diffusion is opted by the substances so the membrane components which Responsible for the facilitated diffusions are called transport mediators. So, transport mediators are the membrane components that are responsible for facilitated diffusion. So, now let us discuss the principle of facilitated diffusion. So, we know that the plasma membrane is made up of a lipid bilayer. So, since it is made up of a lipid bilayer, the molecules, that is the transport of the molecules is not easy in case of all type of molecules. That is, some molecules can be transported very easily, whereas some molecules the transportation becomes difficult. So, the membrane is hydrophobic in nature. And since the membrane is hydrophobic, it does not allow the movement of hydrophilic molecules. It also do not allow the movement of polar molecules. So, based on the concentration gradient, we can transport only a few hydrophilic molecules and small sized hydrophobic molecules. So, across the plasma membrane, the substances can be transported based on the concentration gradient, but this transportation can only be done by hydrophilic molecules and some hydrophobic molecules. So, for the transportation of large non-polar molecules, they require another mechanism, that is, they require an aid. So, this aid is provided by either a channel protein or a carrier protein so there are two mechanisms first mechanism is by carrier protein and the second mechanism is by a channel protein so a channel protein is a transmembrane protein which is present in the membrane so this transmembrane protein acts as a channel in the transportation of the molecule so, the first mechanism is channel protein and the second mechanism is carrier protein. So, these channels that is the channel proteins extend across the plasma membrane. So, it connects between the external environment and the cytosol or these are also present across a biological membrane of different cellular organelles. So, through these transmembrane proteins, so these channels help in the transportation of molecules like the charged ions. So, next mechanism as we discussed earlier is the carrier proteins. So, these carrier proteins are carrier protein that are embedded in the biological membrane. 
So these proteins, that is, these specific cardioproteins, have a specific affinity towards certain molecules. So these cardioproteins binds with these molecules and it undergoes some conformational changes. So this facilitates the movement of these molecules across the membrane. So through this mechanism, that is through these carrier proteins, the transportation of even large sized molecules like enzymes is possible. Earlier, I have done a video on membrane proteins. Please do refer it for more details. So this diagram explains facilitated diffusion. So as we discussed earlier, it is the movement of molecules from a high concentration to a low concentration. So it is movement of molecules from high concentration to a low concentration with the help of channel protein or a carrier protein. So there are two mechanisms for facilitated diffusion. First one is channel protein and the second one is carrier protein. So the channel protein is the mechanism in which the transmembrane protein acts as a channel for the transportation of molecules. Whereas in the case of carrier protein, these proteins have a specific binding towards certain molecules. That is certain molecules goes and binds to these carrier proteins and it undergoes conformational changes. So, these molecules are facilitated by cardioproteins. So facilitated diffusion is a passive transport that is it does not require any source of energy. So hope the concept of facilitated diffusion is clear. For more such videos do subscribe to our channel Biotech Simplified. If you like the channel please like and share with your friends. Also, do comment. If you have any video suggestions, please do mention it also in your comments.